A year ago, the South Korean town of Pyeongchang was hosting the Winter Olympics, and to expand its legacy of peace and reconciliation, it hosted a global forum on peace this weekend, bringing together experts from around the world to exchange ideas that will hopefully go beyond the Korean Peninsula. Our Won Do Won has been covering the forum since it opened yesterday, and he joins us from the venue. Jung Won. Hi, Jian. Uh, uh Continuing from uh, yesterday, experts in the field are reviewing different topics in different cases around the world and the prospects for global peace. Uh, and until the forum ends tomorrow, uh, they will be continuing to discuss uh, and uh, to, to seek uh, to end to find, uh, the confrontation that goes around the world and uh, build a sustainable future. The Pyeongchang Global Peace Forum is composed of six substantive sessions in which participants can share their experiences and discuss common issues and challenges which will be part of the framework of next year's Pyeongchang Agenda for Peace 2030. The six sessions are covering various global issues including disarmament, poverty, gender and human rights. Each topic is touched, covered in depth by experts in the field to come up with promising and long-standing agendas under the name of peace. And among many uh, topics that are covered today, I've managed to speak with one of the experts uh, in the field of inter-Korean cooperation uh, to ask a core question uh, within the field itself. Uh, so, Professor Song, uh, how can inter-Korean cooperation really uh, link to global peace? One less war is one step toward global peace. So the more inter-Korean economic cooperation and social cultural exchange we have, it's better for establishing a peaceful environment in the Korean Peninsula. The people-to-people -people exchange is as critical as interstate dialogue. So I think it's good for not just for Koreans, but also global citizens. Thank you, Professor. Uh, the, the forum will wrap up uh, tomorrow with a uh, draft uh, framework which will be officially adopted to the Pyeongchang ad Agenda for Peace 2030. And that's all for me today at the uh, Pyeongchang Global Peace Forum. I look forward for that framework. Thank you, Chongwan, for that report.